Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and it is Algorithm Monday, the day that instead of focusing on implementation details, like how do we build something in cool new framework, it's more about how do we think creatively about our, our solutions? How do we approach our applications and come up with better, more creative solutions? Today is a great example because we're not even going to code. This isn't even a code question. This is a, an interview question or a logic challenge. That legend has it. Uh, Elon Musk would ask this to his applicants for SpaceX. So probably rocket scientists. And I say legend because I never applied to be a rocket scientist at, at SpaceX, so I can't confirm it. But it's all over the internet. You'll have, have no trouble finding it. But this is a type of question that, that he would ask rather than let's talk about uh, altitude tracking or, or friction ratios or whatever it is that rocket scientists do. Now, I'm sure those, those questions happened. But why ask this question too? It's because right he wanted people who could think creatively and find solutions that were bigger and wider and better than just the out of the box uh, out of the box solution. So the question: You are on planet Earth somewhere. You walk one mile south, then one mile west, then one mile north, and you end in exactly the same point that you started. Where on planet Earth are you when you when you start or or when you finish? Okay. So give it some thought. Again, there's no code coming. This is just a logic problem. Put as much time into it as you want and come back and, and we'll, we'll talk through it a little more. I have drawn a circle that is supposed to represent the Earth. The Earth is, of course, a sphere, not a circle, but it will have to do. Uh, we've got north and south on here, and I hope that's where you started. And as I said, I love asking this kind of interview question to, to people who, who are going to work with me or work for me because it will show me your process. Yes, you have to be able to do the job. Yes, you have to know whatever details are required. But do you ask the right questions? Do, do you get frustrated when you, you don't get the solution right away? Do you ask the right questions but, but not end at the right place? That's okay a lot of times because usually, or let's say more often than not, asking the right question will get you to the right place. Do you, do you ask the wrong questions to get to the right place? And, and how do you respond? And, and, and so on. So. The very first place I, ho I hope that you you at least found this solution or at least considered it is the North Pole. This is the first correct solution. You walk one mile south from the North Pole, it doesn't make any difference what your bearing is from the North Pole, every direction is south. So it makes no difference what south, because you're going to be going south no matter what, you'll walk west and you will keep uh, on your on your right side, the North Pole will be equidistant. You'll walk in that, that circle. So this is one mile, this is one mile. You'll go back north one mile and you will finish back at the North Pole. Now, as you heard me say a minute ago, this is the first solution or the one solution. Elon Musk would follow up with the North Pole. Can you Could you be anywhere else or can you think of anywhere else that you might be? And the answer is yes, there are other places. So if you want to pause me and give it a little bit more thought, please do. Well, maybe you thought of the South Pole. And as I said, this is the type of thing I would like to see you ask. It is not right because as we said a minute ago, just the opposite of the North Pole. If you're standing at the North Pole, it doesn't matter what your bearing is. You are looking north. You can't even take a step south from the South Pole. So that's not the right answer, but it is the right direction to go, even though it, it's not right you're thinking about the special places on the planet. What about maybe the equator? Okay, again, that's not right <laughs> because this is the thickest part of the planet no matter if you'll never come you'll never come back to the same spot from the equator, but again, that's the that's the right type of thing to think about. Well, where is it then or where's the next uh, solution? I'm going to draw in a different color here. There is a place close to the south pole that is 1 mile in circumference. Which is to say, if you were at, uh, if you're on this this circle, you walk uh, with the I guess the South Pole. It doesn't make any difference on either side of you. You keep it equidistant. It will take you one mile to walk around the Earth and end up exactly where you started. Now that is not our point because that is not one mile from the South Pole. I don't know where it is, but it definitely isn't one mile. There is also a point that is one mile to the north of this circle. Okay? So this right here is one mile. From that circle, you can start at any point. Walk one mile south, you'll end up on this orange circle. You walk west for one mile, 
And because this, this is the, you're, you will walk around the entire planet, <laughs> not, not the middle of the planet, but you'll walk around this one mile circle. You'll end exactly where you started on that orange circle. Let's say right here, you'll walk about around in a circle and you'll go right back to where you started. That means there are an infinite number of possibilities to answer this question because anywhere on this blue circle is a valid, is a valid point. You walk south there, 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 etc. Because on that orange circle, you'll walk one mile west, you'll walk one mile north right back to where you started. Okay? So I'll draw this up there. The smile though is because there is another answer. I'll draw this up here and you can think about it. Okay, so that's answer two. Actually, that's infinite number of answers because again, you could be anywhere on that point. There are other possibilities though. There's not only this one mile circle. We'll draw another earth here. We get the earth at the bottom. There's also the circle that is only a half mile in circumference. So the, we'll put here half mile circumference if you start one mile north of that thing, so up here somewhere, again, it doesn't matter where you start on this, this is one mile. And because that's a half mile in circumference, you'll walk all the way around half mile, and then again, a second time, you'll end up right where you started, and you'll walk back and end at that same point. Now, I don't know if you're seeing this, but one half mile means you're gonna walk twice around the earth, so that means we have over here, uh, it'll be the same thing at a half mile. We can add to that one third of a mile because you'll walk three times around the planet. A quarter mile, you'll walk four times around the planet. A fifth of a mile, you'll walk five times around the planet. It makes no difference however many times, uh, however, however small you want this number to get until you literally cannot move, there would be that many more possibilities, pretty much infinite, <laughs> to, to walk uh, down to that point, walk around, in a circle until you've gone a mile and you'll end up right back on the same circle one mile north that you started, okay? Again, this type of problem is awesome because it, it, it will challenge you to think creatively in a, in a way that is, is different than, than maybe what you usually do. And it's a great way to show that, to, to work on these, that you're not just a good coder, but you are a problem solver. And if I put you in a room and give you some significant advanced implementation to, to, to check, and at some point, Robbie, that probably has to happen, but you go in there for four, four hours by yourself and you take it home or something, this is something that we can do together and you can really shine. Find more of these. I'll link other uh, Algorithm Monday problems and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.